going to take us to 300 meters above sea level. And at that point in time, we are going to get into a gondola. I'm going to come with you. And the gondola is bigger than this bus. So it carries 100 people at a time, plus their skis. And you're looking at about a seven or eight minute journey up to the top of the mountain. Now the gondola sways gently over the couple of supports, but really it's a very comfortable journey to the top of the mountain. When we get to the top of the mountain, we're gonna have to get off the gondola. We're gonna have to get out of everybody's way, right? And what I'm gonna do is, before you all run away on me, I wanna take a couple of minutes of your time to point out a couple of things. Usually about two, two and a half hours. Let's see what it's like up there because I always want to give people, you know, an hour or so to have a nice leisurely meal. Uh, maybe see the movie, maybe do the sleigh ride, maybe play in the snow. You know, I, I don't encourage you uh, to like rent back it, okay? Bring your jacket, bring your hat, bring your gloves, bring your scarves. It's colder up there than it is down here, obviously. Look at the hikers. See these people walked up the mountain. You can see them with their special, like uh, they got the, 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 the wraps around their ankles to keep the snow from going in their boots. And you can see some kind of a walking club that has gone up the mountain. So uh, you're basically aiming for an hour. You know, on a good day, you're in good shape. It's an hour. If you can do it less than an hour, you're in excellent shape. If you can do it in 45 minutes, you're in very good shape. You know, an hour and a half, well, good thing that you did it, I guess. <laughs> You know, on the hour, quarter past, half past, quarter to two. I'll ask everybody to take the gondola down at 2.45, okay? Now, if you miss the gondola at 2.45, we'll just take the next one. No, no big deals, right? If you miss the one after that, <laughs> you're pushing your luck a little bit, but I'm going to reasonably get food. Uh, Well, good afternoon, now, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on board the Garage Spot Supercar. It's just like our valley station trip today. It's going to take just four minutes. We should have Garage Spot 3,700 feet or 100 meters by the city of Vancouver. Start getting complimentary activities with your admission tickets. It's all the main floor of our chalet. It breaks by the entrance to our theater in the sky. That's where we're presenting two different shows. Every hour on the hour is Born to Fly, which provides the history of Grouse Mountain. Yeah. Come on, let's see the cover view of Southwestern British Columbia from the Eagle to Vancouver. Every hour and a half hour, we're past. We currently have a limited visibility up top with all of our lids and runs open today. Now, Grouse Mountain is making a concerted effort to the for safe skiing and snowboarding. Please be aware of our fine responsibility code and ski and ride with care. I would also do draw your attention to the exclusion of liability that is printed on your ticket. Ladies and gentlemen, we are just approaching the first of our two towers. The tram will sway as we pass over it. You may wish to hold on or steady yourselves. It's also marked a halfway point and we're about to pass the downhill car on by the side of the tram. As you pass the other car, we appear to be moving quite a bit faster than we are. But in actual fact, we are both attached to the very same cable, always moving exactly the same speed. If you have any questions on the radio trip, my name is Scott. Please feel free to ask. Otherwise, let's go there. Hold on. Swing. 
See what I call it a gondola. Well, I said really super foggy. It's more the the the, the, the tram is condensed. How tall are those trees? That's cool now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the second of our two towers. Now we need to get a bit more of a swing in this one. So once again, you may wish to hold on or steady yourselves. We're now approaching that cross mountain, shall we? On the top floor, you can find our award-winning observatory fine dining restaurant, which opens daily reservations at 5 p.m. Also on the top floor is more casual altitude beach trip. The main floor, you can find our finished gift shop, the Lupin's Cafe, the Grind Coffee Bar, and the entrance. Can we meet here in downstairs in the snow? Are we going to do the snow ride?
summertime we have a lovely chat.